Hello, welcome to this video dedicated to Adobe Premiere Elements 2020, a powerful video editing software to create videos and slideshows. Also, visit our YouTube channel and our website to get extra tips, tutorials, and participate in our exclusive giveaway campaigns. Adobe Premiere Elements is a great solution for beginners and amateurs providing all the tools and templates you need for simple and intermediate video projects. Unlike Premiere Pro CC, this product does not require any subscription and is included inside the Adobe Elements Bundle, which also offers Elements Organizer to collect and manage your media and metadata, and Photoshop Elements to edit and adjust your photos. To discover more about Photoshop Elements, check out our dedicated video. Premiere Elements opens with its home screen page, showing information, tutorials, and also specific content with the search bar on top. On the right, you find your recent projects and all the products inside Adobe Elements, such as Premiere Elements as Video Editor. Premiere Elements comes with three main workspaces listed on top. You can use Quick and Expert to create videos with your own media files collected inside the project timeline below. In the Quick workspace, this is in storyboard mode, whereas in the Expert one, this shows a professional environment with video and audio tracks similar to Premiere Pro CC. The different guided workspace collects basic and advanced corrections you can apply to your media files by following guided steps. In this video, we will see the quick workspace only. You can learn more about the expert one by watching our guide. The quick workspace shows two options to either trim any video clip or combine your media files to create your own video. To see all the features inside Premiere Elements, we will go with the second option. At this point, browse for all your videos, images, and audio files to import these into the main Quick workspace. This shows the main preview above, the project timeline at the bottom, and several editing tools and panels, including Organizer and Home Screen to open Elements Organizer or come back to the home screen page. Once media is imported, you can realize your video by either using Ready Templates from the Create button above, or editing on the timeline on your own, as we will see in this video. The timeline uses a storyboard view, where the final video is created by applying several media files or clips sequentially in time. This makes the video editing process very easy, but does not permit to get media overlapped, which is indeed possible with the expert workspace. Visual clips show thumbnails and duration in seconds, whereas audio files are shrinked at the bottom with their file name. You can import other files by dragging and dropping these directly on the timeline. Use the preview to check the timeline content where its red marker is placed in time. Click or drag above the clips to check the frames you want, or just use the player to play back in real time. On the timeline, you can click and drag clips to move these in time, and right click on these to cut, copy, and paste. On the left, use Rotate Right to rotate the selected clip by plus 90 degrees, and delete to remove it. You can use the undo and the redo buttons to go through your action's history if you make any mistake. Click on the clip seconds to change its duration in time. You can use a simple slide bar in case of photos, and use either Smart Trim or Time Stretch in case of videos. With Smart Trim, you can adjust the video duration by selecting the parts to save with the blue regions you size on the new interface. Once you finish, you can come back to the main interface with Continue Editing, whereas use Time Stretch to set the duration by changing the speed rate, 
above 100% to increase it and make the clip shorter or below 100% to extend it with slower speed. The same preview can be used to edit the basic appearance of the clip selected from the timeline. Just click once on the preview to show a blue rectangle that you can use to move, scale, and rotate the clip. You can also apply advanced corrections and effects by using the buttons on the right side. The first one opens the Adjustments panel used to apply corrections on either the selected clip or the entire project by enabling the entire movie button on top. Use Smart Fix, Shake Reduction, and Auto Smart Tone to apply quick corrections on color, details, and tones automatically. On the other sections, from color to temperature and tint, you can customize the visual appearance by picking any ready template or using the sliders inside More. In this way, you can adjust the media colors with hue, their intensity with saturation, and vibrance the brightness, contrast, and exposure levels, and also apply color filters to the clip. Next to each correction, you can use the I button to enable and disable it and check the differences. The second button opens the Tools panel with other advanced adjustments with dedicated interfaces. We're not going to see these. The panels inside the Edit section are dedicated to visual effects and transitions. From the Effects panel, you can choose the category above and drag and drop the interested effect on any media to apply it. This effect gets listed inside the Applied Effects panel with its properties and options you can edit while checking its result on the preview. Besides the effect properties, you can use Motion to set the media placement, size, and inclination and opacity to add any transparency. Next to each effect, you can use the I button to enable and disable it, the Reset button to reset its properties, and the Bend button to remove the effect if applied. Also in this case, enable entire movie to manage the effects applied to the whole project. With Premiere Elements, you can also add transitions to introduce and end visual clips in time with special effects. To add simple crossfade transitions, just enable Fade In and Fade Out from the down arrow button placed on the clip. To apply other visual transitions, you can drag and drop any from the Transitions panel in between of two media clips. You can click on it to change its duration, placement, and properties. From the Add section, you can import music samples and great text templates, such as motion titles and classic titles, by dragging and dropping these on the timeline. Motion titles are special text templates that include background, motion effects, and graphics, very good if used as intros or outros. Whereas classic titles are simple pieces of text under a transparent background, which is rendered in black color. You can also add these pieces of text on other visual clips by clicking on their T icon above, adjusting starting point and duration from the watch icon. To correct the text properties, just select the text clip from the timeline and open the Adjustments panel. You can set the text appearance under Text and Style, the transitions to apply with Animation, and add graphics or other pieces of text under Shapes. With this panel open, you can hold down the Control key to move, scale, and rotate the piece of text directly on the preview. To type in, just double-click on the text itself. To save your project in progress, go to File and then to Save As. This will be saved in a Prel file with content, options, and properties you can reopen and edit at any time. Whereas if you want to export the video made, just go to Export and Share. Set the video name and destination folder at the bottom 
and the video properties to use from the sections above, such as Quick Export to export as an MP4 HD video, device to match several TVs and mobile templates, disk to burn onto any disk or ISO file, and online to pick any preset for social websites. Choose audio or image to extract either the audio part or just the current video frame shown on the preview. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to visit our channel not to lose outstanding guides and extra content.